Two deadly crashes in as many days involving school buses. One in Ohio killed a child. 23 others were hurt when the bus was hit by a minivan. And in Mesa today, a bus was part of a multi-car pileup. This one student on board was okay, but a 23-year-old woman in another car unfortunately died. And in both of these cases, the students were not wearing seatbelts because as Arizona's families investigate found, they are not required on school buses here in Arizona or Ohio. Investigator Amy Cutler has a closer look at how that's possible and why some say it needs to change. School buses are considered some of the safest vehicles on the road. They're actually designed for students not to be wearing seat belts. Still, some argue seat belts are another precaution that could help save lives and prevent injuries. Video like this is hard to watch. It shows what happened inside a school bus full of children when a speeding car crashed into it. It's from April of last year. It took place in Albuquerque. Definitely does not really feel safe, honestly. Without seatbelts, students were thrown from one side of the bus to the other. It's very concerning because if they get in an accident, where are the kids going? Out the window and the hall, you know, the aisles. Arizona's Family Investigates pulled data on school bus crashes in our state for the last seven years, finding a positive trend in recent years. 64 of them last year, down from 131 in 2019. Five years ago, the National Transportation Safety Board changed its recommendation calling on states to require seatbelts. Arizona still doesn't. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, only nine states do. We went to transportation engineer Dr. Carl Berkowitz to find out why. The school bus is designed with each seat area compartmentalized. So this, the child sits in a seat with a high seat back and it's cushioned in the front and the back. That compartmentalization, Berkowitz says, provides a protective envelope. That's done by having energy-absorbing padded seats close together. Years back, experts found lap belts could injure children. Berkowitz says the new seat belts that include the shoulder restraint are better. It sounds like you would support putting seat belts on more school buses. I don't consider myself smarter than the American Academy of Pediatric Medicine, who's been advocating it for 30 years, and they've been studying this. Do you think if the school bus in Ohio had seat belts that it would have saved lives or, you know, prevented injuries? Well, there could have been an ejection, right? State lawmakers have considered requiring seat belts on school buses here in Arizona several times in the past, but it hasn't had the support needed to pass. Parents we spoke with hope they'll reconsider. Amy Cutler, Arizona's Family Investigates.